Okay, hi, and welcome back um, to my noisy house. And before you comment, yes, I do need a haircut. So, anyway, as I thought it was Christmas, you're going to take a lot of pictures of people. So I'm going to show you how to clean up a picture. And um, I'll be honest with you, you can automate this with software or plugins on Photoshop, which is what I normally do. But I'm going to show you how to do it manually. Um, just in case you don't want to use a plug-in or don't wish to spend any money or you just want to do a quick touch-up. So we're looking at a picture here of, um, of Rebecca. Okay, and I'm going to clean up these dark patches under the eyes. And it looks like she's had very little sleep. Anyway, so what am I going to do? I'm going to come down here. Let me move the window because it's off the screen, typically. I'm going to come down here and click this and this is this is going to paint a mask or you know anyway click that select your um, brush tool I'm leaving it on about 60% occupancy that's the word I can never say as you know if you've been watching my videos you don't have to leave it on that you can just up that it doesn't really matter because we're going to deal with this later on so let's put it on a hundred percent just for the hell of it now I'm gonna zoom into the eyes I'm using my mouse ball well I thought I was using my mouse ball there we go and you can also see the eyes look a bit blurry and that's something else I'm gonna fix in a minute as well and I'm just gonna paint where I want to do my touch up now notice the area as well as the actual dark patch of the eye because the technique I'm using here you need to do this basically <laughs> okay and that's that bit done and I'm gonna do the same with the other eye I'm not gonna go too much on the hair because I don't wanna using the space bar now just to move down clean up this dark patch here again I'm going around the area not just on the dark patch going around the area as well and I can do the same a little bit there I'm gonna go around the area like this this is just another way of selecting areas and it's quite a good way a technique to use on this particular method for this painting red here Now let's have a zoom out and see what we've done. There we go. She's got a nice reddish face. <laughs> anyway, come down to uh, that bit again and turn that off. My computer's busy. Let's turn that off. Now you can see what's happened here. I'll zoom in again. Basically what I've done is selected the areas using that little mask tool down there. It's just a nicer way of doing it. And um, it works for me. The only trouble with doing this technique is that you've got then come up to your menus up here. Now go to select and inverse. Yeah, remember that bit. Inverse what you've just done. That's my children. As you know, I'm in a noisy household. Anyway, you've done that. <coughs> select again. Come down to modify, and we're going to feather the areas. I'm doing it very small, about three there three pixels so it's a very subtle feather okay now what I want to do is I'm pressing well let's do it manually yeah let's go to edit copy so I've copied those selections now and my computer's busy again edit again and paste you could use the shortcut keys control C and then control V but just to keep life simple so what I've done there if I turn off the bottom one layer now I can't because it's locked. Let me just unlock it. You don't need to do this bit. I'm just doing it because I need to unlock it. So I can turn it off. So if I turn that off, you can see the selected areas because I've copied them. Now making sure that your selection is copied, if I just drag the window, because don't forget I've got two monitors, so that's way off the screen. If I just drag that over now, you can see what we're looking at in here. So there's my copy layer. Let me just turn that off as well. All right. And that's the bits we just copied. So make sure that is selected. Come up to your. Let's move this up again. Come up to your filters and 
Masonic blur and then Gaussian blur. There you go, you can see it, it's worked straight away. Let me just drag this window, other window onto the screen. There you go, and if I click in there you can see the before and after. What I've done is I've just blurred those patches and I've done it quite high on this young lady because it was quite dark. Now you need to play with this slider to get the effect that you're looking for. Um, but on this particular one it's about 20 so there you go now I've blurred them out I'm going to OK that and you can see those dark patches that I've gone you're getting this sort of um, textured look here now which is what I was looking for if I press this scroll around you see overall that looks pretty good don't forget we're quite zoomed in there as well so if I zoom out a little bit there you go dark patches gone looks a little bit patchy there but that's just you don't want to take too much away now it's, it's fixed these eyes, so let's select the main image, the background image. Right, let me just show you there. There you go. I've selected the, the main image there. I'm going to zoom into the eyes. I'm going to do this very quickly because you know me, I like to do quick and simple. Okay, so let's come over here. It doesn't matter really matter which one of these you select, but um, it's on magic wand tool, so let's keep it there. I'm just selecting the white of the eye there. I'm holding shift. So you get that plus sign there. And I'm selecting the whites of the eye. Now, if she was showing her teeth, I would do the same to the teeth at this point. Because I'm just going to whiten up things here. Now, can I go to your filter menu again and select, sorry, your select menu, and select modify again, and there's still a little feather. This time I'm just going to do about two, and OK that. So it's very subtle. Then, the magic bits, scroll this down so you can see what I'm doing I'm now going to select create a, an adjustment layer basically I'm going to go up to curves so you could use levels if you're using the other version of Photoshop and I'm just going to boost the white very subtly not a lot very subtly if you do too much they look a bit like the guru off of um, Stargate so ok that now if I turn that off and on you can see the effects. Uh, anyway, zoom that out so we can have a look at the overall effect then. Just move that up just a touch. I'm going to turn this off and on. I'm going to move this up so you can see the full picture. And I can't get up to my controls because of the uh, thing. Hang on a minute. I'm in trouble. Here we go. Right. I'm going to turn it eyes off and on. Off. On. Off. Off, off. So that's that's before eyes there, and that is really nice, nicely cleaned up. Brilliant and easy technique. Don't forget there is plugins and software you can do this automated. And uh, anyway, this is how you can clean up a picture. Now I could select the lips and brighten them up as well using the similar techniques. So anyway, have fun with that and uh, happy Christmas. <laughs> See you later. Now where's the stop button?